Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609, just leaving the post office in Kingsland, Texas, where I have a P.O. box. Yeah, if you want to send something in the mail, send it to Rusty S. P.O. Box 1446, Kingsland, Texas, 78639. And I want you to know, folks, I got a ton of mail for my birthday. Thank you very much, and thank you for all your thoughts and so forth. I do appreciate it. We got about a two-hour long mail call coming up sometime. <coughs> but anyway, on and on we go. This video I want to talk about on the road again. Old dad is going to do it, guys. I'm going to do the road thing again. I'm going to go to Eagle Nest, New Mexico on Monday. I'll be leaving Monday and be gone for as long as I want to be gone. I've got the rent paid at the RV park for four months. They'll hold my spot. So we are good to go on that score the RV park in Lano, Texas, that is. Uh, come on, fella, let me out here. Thank you. Well, the reason I was kind of trying to get around and there's a line of cars coming, I didn't want to have to wait all day. But having said that, on the road again is correct. I got a, I, I was checking on getting a cabin for maybe a month or two out in New Mexico or somewhere. And even though I know it's locked down in New Mexico, it's locked down everywhere. So you, got, you just got to get that out of your head and play the game. So I'll just, you know, I got a mask and whatever I have to, I'll put it on my face and that's the way that'll go. Not a problem for me because I don't go that many places. And, you know, when I'm out for exercise, I'll carry a mask in my hand. If I need to, I'll stick it on my face. And that's enough said about that crap. I'm going to go to Eagle Nest, stay in an RV park. I've already made the reservation, so don't try to cut me out of it. And, uh, yeah, it's already done, and I'll be leaving again on Monday, the 20th, arrive on the 21st. It'll be two days, a uh, six-and-a-half-hour drive each day. I'll split it right down the middle. I'm not sure where I'm going to stay. But, yeah, I'm excited, guys. I'm back to li with the living again. I was kind of on the, with the dying there for a while because, you know, man, I'm telling you, uh, boredom sets in on me pretty quick. I know a lot of y'all know that because, you know, I, do I change my mind? Hell, yeah, I just like changing underwear just boom do it and <clears throat> so but as far as the the cabin we're still on target on that but he can't he's not going to start construction for four to six months and there's nothing to do and as far as the water it'll either happen or it won't i don't need to be here sitting in the in my rv like a bird in the nest at 102 degrees uh waiting i can be anywhere quote waiting right and i checked with the rv park the uh, lady that owns it and uh, they do have a good uh, wi-fi and also they have good Verizon signal, which surprises me in Eagle Nest, but she assured me she has Verizon and she gets a good signal. Uh, not everywhere in Eagle Nest, some places in Eagle Nest you don't get a signal at all, but in her RV park, which apparently is in a little valley, or not a valley, it's right on the edge of uh, the Eagle Nest Lake or whatever you call it. <clears throat> but I know, New, New Mex don't even tell me how bad it is in New Mexico, guys, I, I already know. But if you know where Eagle Nest is, it's kind of off the beaten path, so to speak. You know, it's not Santa Fe or Albuquerque. It's just a little bitty out in the middle of nowhere community. So it's going to work okay for old dad here. And this old guy is slowing down, and I want to get around him, I guess. Yeah, I'm going 40, okay? And the speed limit right now is, I think, on this road right here, 60. He's fixing to crash into that car if he doesn't stop. Okay, so here we go. And yeah, well, I'm looking forward to it. I'll just hook up the old casita and away we'll go. I'm going to do my final round of groceries on Saturday, or I might do it on Friday. You know, Saturday and Sunday grocery shopping can be a little busy. So yeah, we'll do that. And I'll load up with beer and wine and stuff that's hard to find or pricey in Taos because that's where I'll do my shopping. From uh, Eagle Nest to the Smith's grocery store in Taos is about an hour. It's only 40 miles, but... <clears throat> The way you got to wind through the mountains to get there. It's a scenic drive, and there's no sense being in a hurry. I've driven it several times. I've stayed in Eagle Nest, and I've stayed around the you know, what they call the Enchanted Circle, just about everywhere you can stay. There's a lot of free camping in there, and there's a lot of cheap, inexpensive camping, but uh, I'm not going to do any boondocking. Noop, noop, noop. It's going to go to the RV park and uh, hook up. The girl tells me I'm on the outside, should have a good view. Uh, I may have to <clears throat> come in a different direction. I think they're all pull-throughs. I hope so. But it doesn't matter. I'll make, I'll make it work. So I'm excited about that. And God, I got a lot of mail here, guys. I mean, a lot of mail. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. 
And you know, guys, I've said this many times, I'll say it again, I live in a small RV, so don't load me up too much because I have absolutely nowhere to put stuff, and that's intentional. But anyway, I do thank you. The thoughts are very good. I appreciate it. And the pats on the back and all that stuff, and we'll get into that mail call. But right now, let's talk about on the road again. Yeah, I mean, I feel alive again now. You know, I was kind of in a semi-rut, you know. I kind of been back a, a month. <laughs> I've been back. Let's see, I came back. When did I come back to Texas? Middle of May? End of May? Yeah. And so June, yeah, a month and a half, six weeks, seven weeks, whatever it's been. Yeah, it's time. And, uh, you know, when I get the cabin built, uh, assuming I, I do, uh, you know, right now I'm actually thinking of another option that didn't occur to me, or maybe it did, I just never talked about it, is, uh, you know, I could pay for that uh, RV site at the Lano RV Park year-round and go wherever I wanted to anytime. It'd be the, that would be the least expensive way to go and probably uh, as far as quality of life it might be the best way to go. I haven't resolved that and just keep the uh, the lots as a uh, as an investment you know. So that's kind of where my, th but, you know, there, all these things will evolve. There's no hurry. I don't need to make the quote final decision today. I need to see how all this plays out on the water and, and other things and let uh, 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 Shelton at the cabin builders give me a final price and you know his final drawings and stuff. So there's several steps that have to be, you know, uh, gone through to uh, get that done. But yeah, the good news is I found a place. The temperature, it's they say it's a little warm in Eagle Nest uh, this time, right for this time of the year. The monsoons, what they call the monsoons, which is really not monsoon, you know, they get a little sprinkle of rain but it definitely cool, uh, cools it down. You know, it's in the 50s in the mornings, highs are up in the mid 80s. You know, to them that's hot. And uh, to me that's, ah, uh, you kidding me? That's 20 degrees cooler on both ends. Is that nice? Yes, and I don't have to run the AC. You know what I mean? And the AC in any RV is noisy. And the uh, casita is no exception. It, it, it's actually quieter than most because it's a smaller air conditioner. It's 9,200 BTUs as opposed to 13,500 or 15,000. And uh, so, but yeah, here goes a big old good and crossing in front of us, a big old fifth wheel. Okay, let's go, Rusty. Got people stacking up behind me here. But we're on the road again, guys, starting on Monday, headed to Eagle Nest. I'll pick a midway point somewhere and I'll, I'll probably just stay in an RV park and pay $35 a night. And I, what I'll try to do is find one that I could get, do going and coming that's reasonably midway. Because if I, you know, six hours, uh, that's a little farther than I'd like to go, but it's not bad. You know, it, you know towing the casita is very easy. It's, you don't even hardly know it's back there. In fact, sometimes I have to double check. And I get, um, you know, 16, 17 miles a gallon at 55, 60 miles an hour, so that's okay. You know, the price of gasoline in New Mexico already knows about 30 or 40 cents a gallon higher, so I'm mentally prepared for that, which is no big deal. When I'm there, I don't drive around that much anyway. And as far as food, Smith's Grocery and Taos has got everything I need and more. And, uh, you know, as far as eating out, everything's locked down anyway. All you can get is takeout, so that's not a problem. And so, you know, I'll be living just like I'm living here in Lano, and it'll be 20 degrees cooler. Is that good? Oh, 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 yes. But we're good to go. I mean, I, I thought about it. I thought, well, you know, it's only two more hot months. Only eight more, ten more weeks of heat. Hello. Yeah, I'll go. So that's perfect. I'll go out. On, uh, I'll arrive there on the 21st of uh, July, so August the 21st, and possibly stay another month. To September the 21st and yeah that'll work perfectly because about the third week of uh, September you start to notice a little bit of a cool down in Texas so that'll work out fine and then I can come back and play golf and start doing the stuff on my lots and see how all that works out and that's that so here we are driving down highway 29 going west and to get to uh, Eagle Nest you got to go wind around and you know, I think it's Socorro on 40, and then you go up and get over by, uh, uh, what's it called, Las Vegas, New Mexico, 
on 25, you go past Las Vegas, and then you turn left, uh, and it's about an uh, hour uh, off of I-25 to the, let me think, uh, west. And uh, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a nice, it's a pretty drive, you know, and there's no hurry, plenty of stops and scenic stuff on the way. Done it many times, and this will be another one. What I want to do, and I know I've mentioned this before, is, uh, is now, instead of finding some lots, you know, to have another home base, I want to find me an RV park that I can go to year after year after year after year, year that's reasonably priced and, uh, you know, I just get a spot and make a deal with the owner that I'd like to have it, you know, this period of time. Go ahead and reserve it if I can for the months that I want to be there next year because next year if, if everything goes okay and I'm still okay healthy-wise, then uh, I'd go out, say, the middle of June, uh, mid-June, and then July, August, and then come back the end of September or toward the end of September. And that's how that would go, on and on and on and on and on, until I couldn't do it anymore. And then hopefully if I get the uh, cabin built, I'll sit on the front porch in a rocking chair and watch the cars go by. But having said that, guys, on the road again, Rusty saying, thumbs up, guys. All I can tell you, it's good life if you make it that way. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it use the link to amazon products in the description of all of our videos why because it doesn't cost you a penny just go to amazon just click on it go to amazon buy whatever you want drink plenty of water take deep breaths stretch walk you know uh, stand guard at the door of your mind boy i'm telling you that's important now isn't it wow what a change what a change but you know adapt and that's what i'm doing you know, i'm adapting i've got masks i'm fine i'll wear a damn mask i mean i may not like it I don't think anybody else does either, you know. But if that's the new game, then by God, I'm going to play it better than anybody, you know. I'm going to do it, you know, and uh, and go on with it. You know, don't butt your head against a brick wall, guys. I mean, I know there's a lot of hard-headed people. I ain't going to wear no damn mask, or I'm not going to do this, or I'm not going to do that. Fine. You know, drive yourself nuts and irritate everybody around you. That's fine. That's your choice. For me, get along or get out, man. I'm getting along. I mean, I, I mean, I'll bend for I'm flexible. You know, I'll bend, 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 but, uh, you know, don't try to break me. But it's a nice day here. It's already 93, and at time, what time is it? It's 10.30 a.m., and it's 93. It's supposed to be 106 today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so when I was, was going to go play golf. Uh, it's too damn hot for old dad. But Monday, we'll be on the road again. I'm looking forward to it. I'll get my casita all ready to go. I'm going to leave the rocking chair there at my spot. And, you know, if they want to rent it by the day to somebody, I don't care. You know, make a little extra money for the RV park. And uh, I'll just tell them I'm going to be gone, quote, a few weeks. And a few weeks will turn into a month or two. And that's the way that goes. But, you know, they do that because there's people beside me that have an RV that they just park it there and pay by the year. But having said that, guys, adios, amigos, and uh, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha. Till next time, guys, but on the road again, yep, soon, Monday.